Welcome. So here we go. What I, what I have here is I have theta equals a negative 145 degrees. And I want to find the reference angle. Now remember the reference angle is the acute angle between the terminal side of your angle and the horizontal axis. So what I did is I kind of wrote a little formula for how to find the reference angle depending on which quadrant it's in in degrees. And the first thing we need to do is sketch our angle in standard position. So I notice that this is a negative angle, therefore it's gonna go in the negative direction. So in standard form, I'm gonna have my initial side start here, and therefore if I was gonna go around here, first to my um, y-axis would be 90 degrees, and here it's gonna be a negative 180 degrees. So since it's negative 145 degrees, I'm just gonna kinda estimate and roughly say that my angle is going to be right here, theta. Now, the problem with using a negative angle for a reference angle is you can still determine what the reference angle is, because the reference angle, remember, is your terminal side to your horizontal axis. But to plug it into one of these formulas is not going to work, because if you look at if I say theta equals negative 145, well, negative 145 minus 180 degrees is not going to give me an acute angle. All right, so what I need to do is I need to determine what is the coterminal angle. What is a positive angle that's going to have the same terminal side as my angle theta equals negative 145. Then I can use the formula for the third quadrant since the terminal side of my angle lies in the third quadrant. So what I want to do is I want to find the angle that starts at the same initial side and ends at the name terminal side but is positive. So to do that, remember we found coterminal angles. So to find coterminal angles is if I have my negative angle, what we notice is my angle plus my coterminal angle add up to 360. So what I can do is I can just take my theta, which is negative 145, and if I add 360 to it, all right, that's going to give me 215 degrees. Therefore, that means this angle is my new theta, which I'll call the positive form of this angle, is going to be 215 degrees. And actually, I'll call that double, double prime, 215 degrees. Now, I can plug that into my formula for the third quadrant to find my reference angle. You could also just say, all right, well, you know, what is the distance from here to here? Um, you could work that another way as well. So, but just to follow the algebraic rules, or my, using my formula, theta prime equals 215. Now remember, 215 is equivalent to negative 145. They have the exact same initial and terminal side. That's why I can use that positive value of 215 degrees minus 180 degrees. Therefore, theta prime equals, let's see, we're going to have 20 and then 35 degrees. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you find the negative reference angle, or the reference angle, when given a negative angle in degrees. Thanks.